Kenya successfully hosted the seventh edition of the Africa Agri Expo in Nairobi, in an event that provided new uh, ideas on innovations and value addition from coal storage to onion of onions to use of drones on farms. The expo offered a great learning experience for visitors. Once again, here's a very own Dennis Otieno with Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Bustika from Equity ensures that you don't get stuck when low on cash. So, next time you're sending money, making payments or buying airtime using Star247 Hash, Equitel or Equity Mobile app and you have insufficient funds, simply accept the Bustika prompt and complete your transaction. On Monday this week, the Africa Agri Expo 2024 came to life at Nairobi's Sarit Center. The expo, now in its seventh edition, brought together stakeholders to chart the way forward for Africa's agriculture. The two-day event had fantastic innovations on display for the hundreds of visitors who made their time for the feat. This stand by Natural Storage Solutions was a major attraction showcasing cold storage method of onions. Here, the crop can be stored in cold storage for up to 10 months at between 0 to 2 degrees centigrade. Because onion is a very high consumable item, one of the highest consumable items. And the wastage is very high because of the climate change, sudden rain. So the rain is damaging the product. So if you store it in a cold storage, then you can save the product as well. But the disadvantage of cold storage is very high cost and the power consumption is very high and the sprouting issues are there. But we are managing it in our technology. If you build a cold storage, then you get a 2% of losses. And if you don't get, uh, if you don't get the store in a cold storage and open, then it will be 35-40% of lot losses. Not far from here is this stand under the Nairobi County Government showcasing what the city has to offer with regard to milk value addition. Njui Mwawura is among the exhibitors with a special focus on making probiotic yogurt. The probiotic culture is healthier than the other culture, yes, because it gets into your guts and cleans your gut. When I uh, value add, I can keep my milk for a, a month. Number two, it increases the value. If I'm going to sell a liter of uh, milk, raw milk, at an, uh, an optimum of 80 shillings in Nairobi, because it's going for 80 shillings. If I do yogurt, the normal yogurt you can sell for even 200, 300. Ours we do for three, between 300 and 400 per, per, per liter. A key highlight of the expo was perhaps the focus on forgotten or heritage crops such as sorghum. Nate Bloom is the founder of Sogam United, which is a global group of sorghum and millet industry stakeholders and supporters. The group has launched a children's book series with characters based on various global names for sorghum. The reason we do that is because farmers will grow grains like these if there's a place to sell them, right? But you can't have a place to sell them if consumers don't know that they exist. So we, we find that these books are a fun and entertaining way. I call it like, it's like Indiana Jones meets Captain Planet. Uh, it's a great way to get in front of kids uh, and more importantly, their parents, people who are concerned about their nutrition, they're concerned about uh, doing a, their part in helping uh, mitigate climate change. We know sorghum is a superfood, right? So the moment these farmers have planted this product, the moment they've harvested, they actually have food. And they're also able to sell the rest of the products to us. So what normally happens is you have food, you get to get money to be able to improve their cost of living. Sorghum is uh, actually, we could call it a forgotten crop, but uh, it's a very interesting crop. It's uh, drought resistant. It uses very little uh, amount of water. Also in terms of nutrition, uh, its nutritional value is very high. And that's why we are all, we are encouraging the plantation of it. The expo would not be complete without some aspects of mechanized farming. It was the case at this stand by AgriLine Kenya, a drone startup based in Nairobi, showcasing drone systems that can be used by both small and large-scale farmers. When you're talking about in terms of reducing time, uh, these drones are 16 times faster than human spraying and much safer. And they're about six or seven times faster than tractor spraying. 
Uh, they are also slightly less costly than uh, tractors. So we, the farmers are still reducing their cost. And most importantly, they are safer. You are not, uh, it's highly automated. And we are doing like 40 acres per hour with one of these drones. According to the exhibitors here, Africa's agricultural potential is immense and remains largely untapped. It is for that reason that many will continue to cultivate innovation while sowing seeds of progress in their farming. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Usikwame Bustika na Equity. Dial star 247 hash, use Equity mobile app or Equitel and enjoy an instant cash boost of up to 100,000 shillings with a repayment period of 30 days and you can top up multiple times to complete your transactions. Biashara Usikwame Bustika na Equity.